Hi everybody, my name is Victoria Taylor. I'm super excited to be here as part of Innovate. We're going to be talking about all sorts of things that people in the state are doing in terms of innovation technology. So I hope that you join me and along on this journey as I explore the many corners of this beautiful state and it'll be a lot of fun. Hello, Victoria Taylor here with Innovate on Vermont PBS. Today we're going to meet with Dr. Turner Osler, inventor of the Core 360, an active chair that keeps you moving to relieve the pressures caused by sitting. Let's check it out. Hi there, are you Dr. Turner Osler? I am, and you're Victoria? Yes, pleasure nice, to meet you. Nice to meet you, I've heard so much about you. Well, I've heard so much about you. So tell me about this Core 360. I'm very interested in the problems that are caused by sitting. It turns out that in the United States today, people sit on average 11 hours a day. That's a long time. Now, how is that even possible? Well, driving to? Driving to work, breakfast, lunch, dinner, driving to work, sitting at work. You come home and sit in front of the PC, sit down and watch, to, oh, it's bedtime. Yeah. And somehow you pile up 11 hours. Well, you know, for most of human history, we weren't sitting. I mean, we didn't have chairs until really about 100 years ago when people started working in offices and furniture was suddenly manufactured in factories and was cheap. Mm -hmm. you know, before that, people were up and around you know, farming. You had one and chair and everybody shared you it. You had one chair and the guy who was the most important sat at it, which is why you have the chairman of the board. It was oh. the guy who got the chair, right? So, so the business of everybody sitting in chairs constantly is really brand new. And it turns out that humans just aren't designed for all this sitting. And so you have a background as a medical professional. Right, uh, my day job was as a trauma surgeon for the last th 30 years or so, and then the last the last 10 years I've been working as a research professor, still in the Department of Surgery here at the University of Vermont, but mostly doing math, epidemiology, outcome modeling kind of stuff. And, you know, it just became very clear that chairs are a huge problem. I had the idea, well, you know, if your chair is constantly letting you rebalance and reposition your posture, when you get up, you just get up because you've been moving you've the been whole time. You've been adjusting, moving continuously. The whole time. Your body knows what to do because you've already got all these reflexes that you spent a whole year programming when you were tiny and your brain was growing like crazy. Well, I would love to see what's in your workshop. When we went to a furniture company, they said, oh, well, we can make that for you, but it'll be five or six or seven hundred dollars a pop. And we thought, boy, you know, if it's going to be that expensive, no one can afford it. And it doesn't solve any problems if no one can buy it. Mm -hmm. So we discovered that a company in um, Connecticut uh -huh. that has a robot that will bend wire and, um, and make the legs for a chair quite inexpensively because, um, well, the robot doesn't need health insurance. The robot works 24-7. And, and does a perfect job every time. Okay. So, you know, by, by using 21st century technology to make the pieces, we can make the chairs a lot less expensive. So the secret sauce is a way to make it, uh, to make a chair surface rock in all directions. And um, that's, you know, th there are a lot of ways to do that. And if you spook around um, uh, patent searches, you can find a lot of different solutions to that problem. But this is the solution we figured out. Okay, so we have this little, it's like two hemispheres. This is a so-called eccentric bicylinder because it's the volume of intersection of a cylinder. Can you see that cylinder? Uh-huh. And another cylinder. And this is their, this is what, ha this is the space that's occupied by two cylinders that intersect when their axes don't intersect. And so, because it's curved on the bottom, it rocks in one direction. Uh-huh. You can put something flat on top of it and it'll rock 90 degrees opposed. And it's a hard thing to make because um, there are no straight edges. Unless you discover this symmetry. If you take it apart like that, now it's just... Two hemispheres. Well, it's just one long slice off a cylinder. Oh, wow. If you chop it up and then put the pieces together, you get fish lips. No, no. <laughs> if, if, you put it to, if you put it together 90 degrees opposed, you get this incredibly simple and beautiful shape. That's also incredibly strong. That's also incredibly because strong. Because it's basically the focus point and, of and, a lot of pressure. And tips in every direction. Wow, amazing. So do you have an assembled unit we can oh, yeah, sit yeah. around? Well, we, can, we can show you one in, in pieces and, uh, and not in pieces. <laughs> all right, let's check it out. Okay. So this is where you're kind of putting together all the prototypes? Right, so this is where we have uh, prototypes that we've been working on. And this was the first one that really worked. This is a PVC plumbing pipe kind of uh, bolted together, kind of like that little, um, printed, uh, 3D printed object. Just much bigger. Just much bigger. But once it gets this big, you can finally sit on it and it really works. Um, so um, over time, we kind of 
buffed it and polished it until we finally wound up making these things with injection molding um, right here in Milton, actually. And but all it, these are made here in Vermont? Oh yeah, no, within, within a few hundred yards. <laughs> so um, it turns out that plywood is even cheaper. And if you cut out plywood very carefully, um, you can design the, the joints in such a way that it just fits together oh and, my goodness. and turns into a very solid chair. And then you have the base over there. And then you have the d base over there. And these things clip together like, um, like the um, belt on your backpack. The, the plywood has just a little enough give and the, and the notch that goes into is constructed in such a way that if you just hit it with a hammer, it turns into furniture. When you sit on a chair, any chair, you're sitting on your ischial tuberosities. And when you rock on a chair, um, if you're rocking on a flat surface, you immediately bump up against your coccyx. Yes. But if you rock on a curved surface, you can rock way further before you hit your coccyx. And you can rock way further before you start compressing the flexors in your, over your femur. So by putting a gentle curve here, we let people rock a long way. Well, shall we rock this chair? Yeah, let's rock this chair. Pull up a chair. All right. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> oh wow, it really does. It really does. It doesn't make you scared you're gonna fall over, but it works all of your muscles. Right, suddenly you're thrown back on your reflexes and it'll take you just a minute to figure out how to sit on this thing. But your reflexes already know from when you were a little kid, right? I mean, This is great. It's yeah. kind of like beach blanket bingo, but seated. Uh -huh. But it's yeah. less scary than a ball because it won't roll away. It's not going to roll away. You're not okay. going to fall. Your feet, your like feet are planted on the ground. Yes. You get all the feedback from 160 bones in your feet that are kind of giving you information so you can't... Uh, this is this is this is phenomenal. I almost want to pull up a computer and just <laughs> sit on this working? thing and just start working. So <laughs> you have patented the Core 360 concept, mm -hmm. and what's next for you guys? I mean, how can people get their hands on one of these things? Um, so uh, we're going to have a website uh, that should go live in the next couple of weeks, um, qor360.com, and um, that's that's how that's we're going to. That's qor no e. Uh, QOR360.com. That's amazing. I love that this began in Vermont, is built in Vermont, and it's basically just a celebration and a culmination of your years of, of work trying to help people's health. Right. You know, it's, it's, it's extraordinary that there's so much talent here in Vermont. The marketing branding guys are, you know, one street over on Champlain Street. You know, the, the, this Sterling Hardwoods is, uh, you know, you can hit it with a rock from here. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, uh, it's in the generator spaces just down the You're way. You're kept well caffeinated mm -hmm. by the coffee shop next door. Exactly. Restaurants for lunch. Now, this is, this is absolutely brilliant, and mm. I am so excited that people are going to be able to get their hands on this innovation very soon. Yay! <laughs> I like this chair. <laughs> Well, that's our show. Today I learned that our bodies were designed to be in motion and that sitting down for long periods of time is extremely detrimental to your health. But chairs like the Core 360 can help stem the health problems associated with sitting. Thanks for joining us on this exploration of Vermont's tech and innovation landscape. To find out more about the Core 360, you can check out the website at www.qor360.com. Production of Innovate is supported in part by Sovereignet Communications, connecting communities, schools, nonprofits, and businesses to one another around the world. More information at Sovereignet.com. And by Merchants Bank, committed to supporting Vermont's innovators. More information on Merchants Bank is available at MBVT.com. Additional funding provided by the following contributors.